Okay, continuing on with our roof. Uh, we're going to set up our roof plan uh, for, for to place on a drawing. Um, go to the top of chimney uh, floor plan. And let's make some changes over here in our property. Set your view scale to 3 16th inch. Uh, normal mode, fine. And let's see, visibility graphics. I don't think there's anything we need to turn off. Let me look. Okay, all that's fine. Um, annotation categories, uh, yeah, turn off elevation tags and grids. And reference lines, reference planes. And that should be good for that. So we turn those things off. Da, 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 da. No underlay, okay. And view range, I've got it at uh, associated level, top of chimney. Also, it's not going to matter. Uh, the cut plane, I just got it above that, so it shows the entire roof going down. And the bottom, I set at first floor. Um, those would be it, just fine, because we want to see the entire roof, along with the chimney cap and stuff. And then uh, title on sheet, let's rename that roof plan, okay? Now here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna add these roof slope arrows that I've given you. Uh, this is a, will, will be attached in this week's files for you to download. Uh, it's, one, it's one from Revit City that I've modified a little bit. Uh, to make it work better than what they had. And it, we're going to draw the roof overhang lines. And you see I've got um, the first level already done. Now here's how we're going to draw those lines. Is You're going to go and change your visual style to wireframe. Okay, now this shows everything. But what we want to work on is the walls for the, the second story. And so we're going to go annotate, detail line, and the line style, we're going to choose this hidden that's inside the brackets. And we're going to go pick lines. And what I want to pick, now this is assuming that you've got <clears throat> this fascia board against the brick wall all the way around. I'm I'm picking the inside of that fascia that's against the brick. So I'm picking the inside of that, and in, you you know it's, it's kind of hard to tell the the hidden lines because they're actually kind of green looking to start with. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and lock that. And so I'm I'm going to go well. It gets a, a wait a minute. I picked the wrong line. Let me undo that. Because this is my roof here. That's the one I want. And if you get confused. Let's see, we're coming on out to here. There's my facial line going across that way. Because you can see, you can see the outline of my main roof coming across here. It's coming around here. There's that fascia that part of the wall. Yeah, because I got brick on the front. Going back against that wall. And it's just, it's a little bit confusing. Oh, here we go, out here. 
you can choose basically the edge of the basic roof or going well, that's the edge of the roof I don't want that there's my wall there okay Okay, now let's go back to uh, hidden visual style. And I can see those lines and I can use a little, wait a minute, that's, it didn't pick one up there. Okay, so. See those two there line up, of course. I guess those don't line up, do they? Okay. So I need this one to come on across to there. Oh. And I still need my one across the back of that, the back of the house. So let me go back in. Okay, and now I can. And that needs to extend on out to there. Okay, and so that gets that gets the uh, the outline of the walls below. Okay, now for this, um, <clears throat> let's see. You're gonna load it. I've already got it loaded in here, so let me come down and find it. Okay, it's an annotation symbol. So when you go to load it, what you can do is you just go insert, load family, and then browse to wherever you've got it downloaded and extracted, okay, to load it. And then to insert it, we're going to go annotate, we're going to go symbol, and you'll choose it. This is what it's called here, the new one that I'm giving you, roof slope arrow 2, x-12 is the type. So we'll load that. And then I, I found it better to place it and then rotate it after I placed it. We can try it. Let's see. Some of these I found better work better that way. We'll try it both ways. Okay. All right. So now I've got it in here. So I select it. And the suffix is across the bottom. Now that particular one is a 10 to 12. Okay. But I want to change it to a left arrow and uncheck right arrow and apply that. So that fixed that one. I'm gonna delete that one. This one, now remember, we always want our text to be able to be read from the from the right side of the sheet. Uh, text should be able to be read from the right side of the sheet or the bottom of the sheet. So the text is, is going in the right direction. So let's select it. This one should be a 712. So we'll go into our suffix and it's the first one I put in, so it's only is what is the default. Okay, so I want to add a suffix. This particular roof is a 712. Okay, and you can see it changed it there. And I want to change the arrowhead direction, and we'll apply that. Okay, now you can copy that and place it wherever you need. And then when you when you go to create another one for 812 or 412, or if you're placing new ones, when you hit the suffix pull down, the suffixes you've already ordered are already there, and you can just pick them and place them. Okay. Um, so that is is pretty much how the roof plan should look.